Hello everyone, Ziggler here, Bork, Chef, you can call me whatever you'd like. So today I want to do like do a, well, like one of those <laughs> reaction videos. Um, uh, like I'm a very, like I really enjoyed the like Season of Discovery, still do. I haven't played it in a while though because, well, I, I've, I've been playing it so much um, that I took a break pretty much and we got Cataclysm and I got hooked on it. But I've uh, started to read up a little bit on the like patch notes and stuff, and like Solheim is one of my favorite actually like content creators on World of Warcraft, and I love his guides and everything. So I really like I value his point of view in the game uh, like a lot, and yeah, he's very knowledgeable and everything. So. When he posted my concerns about Season of Discovery Phase 4, I, I'm really interested to see what his concerns are. I'm pretty sure that, um, like, I haven't watched it, of course, but I'm pretty sure that I'm going to agree with a lot of things. But, yeah, let's just watch it and see see what he thinks about it. With another classic WoW video. Okay, let's, for let's start. What is up guys, it's your boy Swalam here, back with another classic WoW video for Season of Discovery. So with Season of Discovery, Phase 4 being on the PTR, I have a video that I want to make talking more about Season of Discovery, Phase 4, and more specifically my concerns with Phase 4 based on the PTR so far, the blue post that we have, and the statements about Phase 4. Yeah, and uh, remember that in the launcher you can actually play the Phase 4 pre-patch. And like to my knowledge, I haven't installed it yet, but I'm going to do that and try it several builds. Um, but you can try that now. And I think there's like vendors and pretty much every single uh, rune is unlocked. So yeah, install it and try it. Now, I know that Phase 4 has just been released to the PTR, and <clears throat> I'm supposed to just be happy, 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 we're in the honeymoon phase, we're in the hype phase, mm -hmm. and I'm supposed to just be hyping this phase up as much as I can, because that's good for the algorithm. Either way, I want to <laughs> do something that I think is going to be more productive to the game itself, and I want to talk about my personal concerns, and I yeah. want to make that um, very clear. These are my concerns with Phase 4, I could be completely wrong here, but at least I can input my input here, I can give my feedback to Blizzard, and I can bounce my concerns off of you guys as well. And we, you can let me know in the comments if I'm being absolutely crazy, or if I have a point on the, the, what I'm talking about. And let me know your concerns about Phase 4, or like the good and the bad about Season of Discovery in general in the comments down below as well. I would personally love to see your comments and see your feedback. Sure. Either way, I think it's very good for Blizzard to, like, if they somehow stumble upon my thoughts, my videos or something, Let's it's hope important they do. To, for me to leave feedback on the things that I think should be improved mm -hmm. or what I'm not happy about. That way, I mean, right now we have PTR for at least a few weeks, so they have some time here to actually do some uh, changes to the game itself before Phase 4 goes public. So yeah. I want to bounce my ideas off you guys and leave some feedback based on that. So, without further ado, here smart. are some of my concerns. Okay, let's and go. And I want to take you guys over to the initial blue post about Phase 4 to talk more about this. So, going back to the blue post from Phase 4, we can take a look at what's in store in Phase 4. And um, someone should have been counting how many times I've said the Phase 4 so far. But either way, we can take a look. <laughs> it's probably a, a few times, I'm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Get what's in store in well phase four and um yeah another time one number more time. one okay. that i want to talk about <clears throat> is um if we go over here nightmare incursions updated to daily quest hubs this is a good change yeah it's just ha happening way too late yeah, because that, like, I 100% agreed. And when I heard about the incursions, I was like, hmm, nice, a daily hub. But, like, if you leveled back then to level 50, uh, it's like, okay, we're running, around in a, we are running around in a zone looting scrolls, pretty much. 
and that's it. And like looping it for several several hours and then you're done. It's such a boring way. But yeah. And I don't know why they had to wait from phase three to yeah. phase four to make this change. This should have happened like a couple of days into phase three at maximum a few weeks into phase three. I think they, they, they like, it, it's kind of obvious that they didn't play, play, they didn't test them, test it themselves. Because like, if they, if they did that, it's like, who actually thought like, well, let's keep this because this is such a great way to level. <laughs> I don't get it. And increase the rewards increase the rewards would make it daily that way like what i like about classic is going out in the open world mm -hmm. and seeing people incursions is literally instanced content it's just you see people in a different instance which um i, I guess that's kind of cool but you're staying in one that's place true. for 10 levels sometimes 15 <clears throat> levels sometimes you'd stay in two different incursions from level 25 all the way to level 50 instead of doing anything else you just stay in one place all that time yeah that's Meanwhile, so bad Meanwhile, if it was a daily quest hub let's say it gave you one level like that's a massive amount of levels like one level and it took you 15 minutes to do but you could only do it once per day yeah that would I've be been nice talking about this since phase two this should have been uh, not uh, since phase two since phase three <laughs> This should have been here a long time ago. Ideally, I would want incursions to be totally gone, but daily quest yeah. at least that's a good thing. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I I don't really understand the incursions at all, really. Um, I I thought it was more like a when it, when they announced the incursions, I I was like. Uh, I thought they were pretty similar to like uh, the like scenarios back in in I think it was Mr. Pandaria, but like I yeah I'm pretty sure it was Mr. Pandaria. I I thought it was pretty much like a dungeon really. I didn't really understood understand that that it was like a big place where everyone could be because I I thought it was more like an instance or like a. Because on the picture it was like in the in Ashenvale and you got the big altar with a ramp upwards to the portal. I thought it was like a like either like a scenario or that it was like there there was like spawning waves and it became harder and harder and like gave you better rewards. That's what I thought it was at the beginning. Apart from that, one of the things that I'm really, like, this makes me a little bit mad, and it's something that um, makes me a little bit skeptical about what the idea was <coughs> at the start of Season of Discovery. But let's talk about raids. We have the Molten Core oh. raid dungeon coming mm -hmm. out. Experience Molten Core has a 20-player dungeon with 10 classic bosses, revamped loot, redesigned tier 1 sets, and more. Players will also be able to turn up the heat with a new variable difficulty mechanic. Don't forget your fire resist gear, you're going to need it. We'll be adding one more surprise to this classic raid dungeon for intrepid adventurers to discover as well. Basically, for raiding, I think Blizzard has made a big mistake all the way from the start. Mm -hmm. And that is starting this whole thing out with 10-man content in phase one. Guilds yeah. were made, formed, and recruitment was done based on 10-man guilds. It was based True. on 10-man content. And then in phase two, they simply hard-swapped. There was suddenly... Yeah, they actually made... They changed it from 10-man to 20-man. Only 20-man content, no 10-man options. And going into phase three, it's the same. Sunken Temple... 20 man only there's only 20 man no 10 man options and in 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 phase three as well we saw a bunch of guilds really struggle in sunken temple getting 20 people together because from the start this was made for 20 for 10 man content even though yeah. they stated they still want to have 40 man content as well it started out 
as 10 man content yeah where we had bfd and being 10 man and bfd was awesome i i i really enjoyed 10 man uh, i really enjoyed that well i i i i've only done uh bfd uh bfd because i haven't done sunken temple or gnome again so i'm i can't really tell but <sighs> I really enjoy 10 man. It, for me, it's like either 10 man or 40 man. 25 man is nah. I, I prefer like 10 or twi uh, 40. And even if you want to fuse two 10 man guilds together, they're usually formed with two tanks, two healers, and six DPS. Which, when you fuse them together, that is four tanks, four healers, and 12 DPS. Yeah, that now doesn't you want work. To have two of the tanks that went tank because they probably want to have Thunder Fury. Now they have to be the DPS instead. And in doing so, they sacrifice their Thunder Fury priority at the same time. And the healers probably went healers because they want to be healer for whatever reason. And now one of those healers probably <coughs> has to sacrifice their healing to be a DPS as well or find a new guild and then the problem continues because now yeah. there's simply too many tanks or too many healers or too many of x dps it's been a problem since phase one because they should have kept it at one thing whether they started out as 10 man 20 man 40 man it should have been the same from the start all the way till the end that's kind of interesting um like the way that is telling that uh like if you are two 10 man guilds and you want to form and you're like too many tanks and too many healers in a sense it's like imagine a hamster wheel and everyone is inside of it but in order for for you to actually make it rolling people have to either like sh change strategy even if they don't want to because they like me for example i all only want to tank that's the only thing I want to do. So if if it were me, for example, I would be like, well, see you then. Because like I don't want to do anything else. Sure, I could do it for like one boss or one raid, but not be like, okay, well, I'm DPS now. It's like, no, I don't want to do that. And like the, the hamster wheel is like, if you... Yeah, like in order for, to make it roll... You, you need, uh, like, the two people, that is uh, the 10 man, and the 10 man that is going to go inside the hamster wheel need, needs to be perfect with, like, two tanks, X amount of healers, and X amount of uh, DPS. And if you don't, if everyone, like, four tanks and all the healers and all of that mishmash it's gonna be like it's not even gonna be able to roll so yeah that that's dumb really that way recruitment would have been the same in phase one as it is now in phase four mm -hmm. and they keep doing this in phase four as well they make you do 20 man content even though they say that you can do it as more people as well so for example world bosses will be tuned for 20 player content but you can do it up to 40 people as well, which is great. But what about less than 20 people? Why yeah, can't you just scale exactly. the world bosses down to 10 people? And that way you can be between 10 and 20 instead. Instead of only... Yeah, or be like 10 up to 30. <laughs> I mean, that that would fix fix it. And I mean, today, it with it, with all the things that we can do uh well that blizzard could do is like instead of only having a 20 man it could you could have a 10 man version and and make it like i don't know like half damage or i don't know like it, it would be absolutely possible to do that i mean we got flex raid back in the day <laughs> and and everything so wh why not just put flex in there as well like, why not? I don't know. Only scaling it upwards. Why not tune it for 10 people? Yeah. And then people can choose to be more than 10. Yeah. But tune it for 10. Just an idea. And same thing for Molten Core. I mean, e even if it would be like, Oh, but then you could bring 20 people and me. Like, oh, um, we can bring 20 people into a 10-man. It's going to be super simple. 
okay, sure, but keep it the same amount of crops then. Then it, then you get the incentive to actually do a 10-man rather than 20 people because it's going to take longer time. But, yeah, but I totally agree. Why no 10-man multi-core? Or why yeah. no 10-man um, kind of replacement? We could have had a dire mole raid. A 10-man dire mole raid oh, with that would be nice. core equivalent <laughs> items. <clears throat> that would be cool. It seems to me like Season of Discovery has evolved from being this super casual friendly game mode in Phase 1 mm -hmm. where you could just jump in, play around a little bit, have some fun, experience the content and just in general have a good time and being super casual friendly to where you could play this as a side piece, a side game while playing retail as yeah. your main game, Cataclysm as your main game, whatever your main game was, mm -hmm. you could still play Season of Discovery and do the content to now being a hardcore version of WoW that you want to have as your main game if you want to play because you want to have a steady 20-man roster or you have to plug 20 people every single week to do the raid and you only have one type of content to do which is 20-man raiding there's no 10-man equivalent and I don't understand why because having the ability to be 10 people just makes the game more more the game mode more appealing to more people and it suddenly becomes more flexible it yeah instead of yeah. having to be 20 people you can now be 10. yeah that that is also a, a thing that i've started to feel um because today i actually started the season of discovery again and i i was like okay let's try and level my paladin that is level 24 and I, I don't know what it it was, but it felt like, but why? I mean, the, the, uh, like, I'm not the one to, like, say, like, because I didn't play that much. Like, I didn't raid in Nomrigon. I haven't raided in Sunken Temple. But... As a sound, as a player that doesn't raid that much or at all, because well, I did raid in phase one a lot. I actually did, but as a player that didn't do that, it's it, it, it like I uh, yeah, I don't really like the end game on phase two and phase three, but that might be just me. It would be so much better for so much more people. They should have made, for example, Dar Maul, which has three wings. That could have been a raid. A 10 player mm -hmm. raid with molten core equivalent rewards, so you could raid as a 10 player guild. Yeah. I. Yeah. I mean, they. Yeah. They, they could have done that easily with Dire Maul. I mean, technically, they, they could have drawn it out. And, like, they are changing, like, a lot of bosses and everything. And, I mean, Dire Maul has a lot of bosses in it. And they could draw it out, I don't know, make it, like, unlock one wing and then wait for two or three weeks, then unlock the next one. So it would be, like, a progression on it also. Like, whatever. And, like, I, ra I would rather see them do that. Like, similar to what they've done with uh, Black Fathom Deep, Nomrigon, Sunken Temple, even though I haven't raided. Um, to be like, I don't know, make, make like, Molten Core like a catch-up raid. I don't know. Like, because we, we've done it already. And sure, there's going to be, like, new bosses and, like, revamped loot and everything. But we we all we've already been in molten core as a raid. I mean, we haven't been in in Black Fathom Depth before Phase One uh, as a raid. We haven't been in Normigon before Phase Two as a raid, and we haven't been in Sunken Temple before Phase Three as a raid. But we have already been in molten core as a raid. So I would rather see them do Dire Maul to raid.
I think that the success of Phase 1 really shows that 10-man raiding was the way to go. Yes. And is the way to go as well. I still think 20-man raiding and 40-man raiding should be a thing, by the way. But Absolutely. But I also think that 10-man raiding should also be a thing. Because that is what they started out with. It's a lot more flexible. It's a lot more inclusive. You can... It, it just yeah, makes it is. the game more available to more people. There's pretty much no downsides except slightly more work for Blizzard to make 10-man raiding a thing. It does Yeah, but like it's like it's slightly more work for to for Blizzard. We are paying to play the game. So it's not like like I understand what what he means 100%. And and it's like slightly more work, but like we are paying for the game. And they want us to have, like, they want us to play the game. So why not do it like that? Like, I mean, it, it, it's kind of it's weird that they, like, if that is their mindset. I, like, it, it might not be. But, like, we are paying to play the game. Like, they've talked about like we are their customers. They want us to play it they want their customers to keep playing the game and to be as like as inclusive as possible but this before i think that molten core was easy to make 20 man because you still have the same mechanics but you down tune the numbers a little bit but we don't have to have molten core 10 man you can scale up the rewards from other places like for example dire mall yeah. or stratholm or Stolomans. It can be something like that, that technically is a 10-man raid. It's already, it already, you can beat 10 people in dungeons. Yeah. So you just have to scale up the rewards and also tune the boss fights. Add the mechanics. Do what you did to Sunken Temple, but to one of the level 60 dungeons instead. Mm -hmm. Even Blackrock Depths could have been a 10-man raid. Oh, that, oof. Now, that's Ooh, that a would huge be nice. segment about raiding covered right there. TLDR, I want 10-man raids. Doesn't have to be 10-man Molten Core. It can be 10-man anything else. But it has to have a raid level rewards. So, Molten Core loot, but put into any other dungeon that is now a 10-man raid. I simply don't understand why that's not the case. It would make the game more appealing to a whole lot of people. But that's enough about raiding. There's one more thing I want to talk about, and uh, you can see where this is going. <laughs> New Stranglethorn Veil. Oh, no. And Blood Moon rewards and currency. Like, uh, I, I understand what it means. I haven't done... A single Stranglethorn Veil or Blood Moon event ever. So I'm not someone that can speak about this. But even though I haven't played it, it's actually fun to see new content like with this. But this is like just. Yeah. Why has this been the event for three phases now? Yeah. <laughs> this came out in phase two. It was super cool in phase two. In phase three, when they said this was the case, like once again, Stranglethorn Veil, vale, and just a new currency and new rewards, it was so boring. It yeah. Was so dumb. I can In imagine. Phase three, recycling the same thing. And now phase four comes out, and they're doing the same thing again. They're recycling the same one again. Why not have it be literally anything else? Have it be Horde, like attacking Stormwind. Have it be Alliance attacking Orgrimmar. Oh, yeah. Bring back old school battle for Hillsbad. Have a battle yeah. in, st like, um, Plaguelands. I don't know. Like, literally anything else. They could do that with the towers in Eastern Plaguelands. Just saying. I mean, there's a lot of towers there. They could do, like, I don't know, something easy as, like, uh, the towers in um, Hellfire Peninsula. Or something like that. I mean, it could be anything else. He's 100% right about that. Then reusing the same one that we've had for two phases. <laughs> it was fun in phase two, really shit in phase three, and now we have it again in phase four? Do you just not... Do you want PvP to die? Do you want PvP to not be a thing? Because yeah. we have all these things for PvE. 
we have like class <laughs> adjustments we have professions reputation updates we have nightmare incursions we have the raid the molten core raid the world boss raid if you're strictly a pvp player right now all you're getting out of this is new stranglethorn veil and blood Ooh. community currency rewards uh, reward in currency and another thing in season of discovery while we are in the pvp thing even though i'm not a pvp -er, like that much i haven't really pvp since like i don't know mr pandaria so but like why not have arenas i mean imagine all the tournaments and everything in like phase one phase two phase three with all the runes and everything i mean those tournaments would be awesome to watch i mean just look at the hardcore tournaments that uh, like Asmongold or like everyone did, like uh, S-Fan and all of those. Imagine all the hype that we had and imagine the, what, what kind of tournaments you could do uh, in phase one and everything. But yeah, as a PvPer, the like, season of discovery is meh right now. And PvP class sets for rank 10. What a time to be a PvP player, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not a PvP player myself. I am mad on your behalf. If you're a PvP <laughs> yeah, player, tell me that you are excited for Phase 4. I really want to hear that you are super excited for Phase 4. <laughs> New Stranglethorn Veil. <laughs> Reusing the same one. Three phases in a row, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, that... That, <laughs> that would be like... Yeah, um... Like, imagine going to, like, uh, McDonald's or anything and, like, no no hate against, like, McDonald's, but, like, uh, just as an example, imagine, like, going there or to any hamburger place and ordering a new, like, a new burger that they, uh, like, you, you've enjoyed the burger through uh, all throughout phase two and then when phase three whenever we got get like oh this is a new new burger it, it, it would be like it's the same thing but it's like another bun and it was like well okay it's the same thing well it's another bun i guess but i mean it's still the same dressing sauce salad beef all of that is the same and then when it's like well okay well yeah i guess and then it's like when whenever you're about to hit the even next phase you're like oh this is a new one <laughs> then then it's like oh i don't know then it could be the same bun but you had the small seeds on it so but it's it's still the same <laughs> that's like the equivalent to say i don't know what to say like i want to be super excited about this face and to be fair i am i will play this face and i'm looking forward to it but i do have some concerns and yeah. these are those concerns so once again let me know your thoughts in the comments down below little bit of a run today but i mean i think it's justified yeah he was eating up i would love to hear your comments and your feedback the servers are down right now so i'm trying to get back in but the the, the service just went down maybe an update pvp update we'll see either way once again <laughs> let me know your thoughts in the comments down below let me know everything you think about phase four as well in the comments down below if you enjoyed the video take the time to leave a like on the video it really helps me out so thank you so much and uh, that's pretty much it thank you for watching and as always i'll see you again in the next video very soon that was a very nice video that was a very I, I that was a very like nice concerns well not nice but yeah you get what i mean i i really agreed what what he's saying and he has like good points all throughout and it's like i said in the beginning like i was pretty sure that i was gonna agree with pretty much everything that he said and i i'm pretty sure that i did but yeah, if you haven't followed Solheim, make sure to do so on like YouTube, Twitch, and everything. I'm gonna leave a this uh, a link to his all of his pages on in the description down below. But yeah, very nice uh, video there, Solheim. But yeah, um, I'll guess I'll see you in the next video. Bork bork.